Welcome to To Your Health. I'm your host, Rhonda Alfred, and joining us on this episode is Dr. Zukesh Manthri, the medical director and a medical oncologist at Terrebonne General Mary Bear Perkins Cancer Center. We'll talk today more about Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Welcome to the show, Dr. Manthri. Thanks for having me, Rhonda. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Can you um, just tell us a little bit more about yourself and your role at Terrebonne General Mary Bear Perkins Cancer Center? Sure. So, um, as you're aware, uh, I was born and brought up in uh, India. Uh, once I finished my medical school, I moved to U.S. Uh, I did my residency in Southern Illinois University, then oncology fellowship at East Tennessee State University. So, after I graduated from my oncology program, uh, I've joined Terrebonne General. I've been uh, with the program for the last four years, currently serving as a medical oncologist and a medical director for the cancer center. Oh, well, four years has gone by really fast. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to talk about an important subject, and that is um, Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Can you tell us why it is important? April is the Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, Like any other cancer, it's of great value uh, to spread awareness uh, during this month uh, because uh, it helps us in identifying these cancers at an early stage. Uh, When you identify at an early stage, you can treat them in a better way, and the prognosis improves too. Okay. According to National Cancer Institute, um, five-year survival, when you identify early at an early stage, is close to 95%. Okay? Um, average, around 9,100 cases of testicular cancers that are diagnosed every year. Okay? And uh, we see 400 deaths from testicular cancer every year, too. Okay, so the earlier you diagnose, the better the chances are. So whom does it affect? Generally, young and middle-aged men, uh, age groups between 15 to 44, is when uh, we tend to see um, commonly. Okay. And what are the symptoms of testicular cancer? Testicular cancer, uh, generally, uh, most patients are asymptomatic, uh, but uh, some patients might have a pain or a lump in the testis or they might have uneven testes, um, they can have heaviness, or uh, they can have, in general, if they have advanced disease, uh, when the lymph nodes are enlarged, they can have uh, back pain also as a presenting symptom. Oh, okay. So should they do like self-exams, like women have to do for breast cancer? Generally, because uh, some of the risk factors for testicular cancer are undescended testes, HIV, or sometimes if they have abnormal cells, it's called like a germ cell neoplasia in C2. Sometimes uh, if father has uh, testicular cancer, there's a four to five fold uh, risk that kids can have testicular cancer. Because some of these risk factors cannot be modified, there's no um, a preventive strategy um, for testicular cancer. But the experts, what they suggest is uh, a monthly after a shower or a warm bath, uh, a self-testicular exam might be helpful and helps us in identifying this cancer at an earlier stage. Okay, well, thanks for pointing out those risk factors. Um, can you explain what type of treatment options are available for individuals diagnosed with this type of cancer? Uh, depends on stage uh, and also depends on the histology too. Generally, early stage testicular cancers, uh, uh, usually a radical uh, inguinal orchiectomy, that's a surgery, that's the type of surgery we do. Uh, after surgery, uh, some patients, they require chemotherapy at the back end. Mm, but if it's an advanced stage, uh, generally chemotherapy remains as an, uh, a backbone of treatment for patients. Okay. And what resources are avail- available at Terrebonne General Mary Bear Perkins Cancer Center for can- cancer patients throughout their cancer journey? So uh, being in comprehensive cancer care program, uh, we are able to uh, take care of these patients uh, in a comprehensive way. Um, Not only medical oncology services, we do have radiation oncology services. Mm -hmm. Patients do um, uh, get multidisciplinary approach. We have a dietitian um, who follows these patients throughout this journey, and uh, we have a genetic counselor uh, if it's genetic. Sometimes uh, we have social worker to help uh, 
with their social needs. And we have an, uh, a trial, a clinical trial a nurse who screens these patients for clinical trials too. And uh, we have a navigation system so who can help uh, coordinate the majority of uh, uh, things that needs to be done through the throughout the cancer journey too. So it's a multidisciplinary approach for all cancer patients. Yes, it sounds very comprehensive. A lot of these services like clinical trials, there's nowhere else in the region that these are offered, correct? Yes, absolutely. So um, in the Bayou region, we are the only cancer center. We offer um, uh, good clinical trials for some of our patients and uh, they get this care closer to home itself. Yes, perfect. Well, what is the one main thing you like people to know out there about testicular cancer awareness and the services we provide? So um, once they're diagnosed with cancer, they can get care uh, closer to home. They don't have to travel anywhere else. And uh, this is one cancer, there's a 95% cure rate. So uh, once diagnosed, I think uh, they can get care closer to home, which includes chemotherapy for majority of patients. Well, that is some great news yeah. for cancer patients. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and for all that you do for our cancer patients. Uh, thank you for having me. Okay. For more information about Terrebonne General Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center, visit marybird.org slash strength. Thanks so much for joining us on To Your Health. I'm your host, Rhonda Alfred, and we'll see you right back here next week.